Hello, Libras. This is your ex reading for the 24th through the 30th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with my Libras currently. What's going on with Libra? Please show me. What's going on with Libras? Libras. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of you guys are um, making strides here, accomplishing things. Now, some of you I see are wanting to approach someone, but I feel like you are like cautious about it, okay? Because, you know, this horse has, you know, one of its legs up and it's like, you know, halting because there's something about a situation that you feel like you need to approach with ease or with caution a little bit but there there's something that you guys are um are want to do here you're just trying to figure out like how or maybe if you should even do it okay let's see what's currently going on with your ex what's going on with libra's ex libra's ex libra's ex what's going on with them Well, this person is definitely stable. Um, they may be in a relationship or um, a marriage um, for some of them. But mostly this is, you know, somebody that really is stable with themselves and with other people. Okay. So we'll see where this goes. Let's see how you look at your ex. How do you see your ex? How does Libra see their ex? Hmm. Um, you see that them as somebody that's committed. You see them as somebody that um, is very supportive. Um, you know, the queens are committed people. They like stability. They like relationships. And um, this is somebody that, you know, they make their own money. They make pretty decent money. Um, they may not be rich, but, you know, they're pretty stable all the way around. Okay? Um, they're supporting either a family, um, children. You know, that's what they're doing. Let's see how Libra's ex views them. Let's see how your ex views you. How does Libra's ex view them? Libra's ex. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this is you guys loving yourself. Um, that you are single. You have love to offer. That you are... Um, confident in yourself and your feelings and how you express them. Mm -hmm. They see good things about you. And they also, I feel, view you as um, somebody that has their, their shit together. And they're very attracted to you. Very attracted to you. But, you know, the Knight of Wands is kind of in and out, you know. They may be, like, in it to win it one day, and then the next day feel like, mm, maybe this is not for me. You know, that kind of energy. Hmm. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. What's Libra's feelings about getting back together? Uh, right now, it's a no-go. <laughs> Um, you're just kind of like taking your hands off of it and, um, you know, like it is what it is. Like you're doing nothing to advance the situation. You're doing, you, you have no input. Um, you're not speaking about it. You feel like, you know, what will be, will be. Okay, so rah, so rah, you know, like, No. There's something you've been enlightened about as well here. You know, just kind of 
looking at everything from like this introspective view, really giving a lot of thought to um, situations and people. And the best decision for you right now is like to do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's see what your ex feels about getting back together. They feel like it's best for them to take whatever they have learned or whatever integrity they have. Um, which is, this is not integrity though. The Seven of Swords is like the way that it's falling, <clears throat> it's falling here is they are, they're looking back at how you feel about yourself or how you know they view you and they are cutting their losses because there's something that they um, were trying to get away with and there are no sores that are left here so there's no indecision here they feel like what's best is just to walk away Okay, very calculated action with the source because it's thinking, no emotions are involved. Um, it's just what they feel like is best for them in this situation is to walk away from it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how you can increase your chances of getting back together. I feel like this is um, kind of null and void right now. But let's see what you can do to increase your chances of getting back together. This is like ending all of the nonsense, ending all of, um, basically just letting it go, just letting it be, you know, not concerning yourself about, you know, what issues happened between the two of you that, you know, brought you to this separation, basically just letting it go because right now you're feeling really stabbed in the back, um, betrayed, um, bamboozled. And, you know, you just wanted to just let it go. And I think that's probably what's best with the Seven of Swords energy. Being present here. Hmm. Let's see what they can do to increase the chances of reconciliation. What can they do to increase the chances? Queen of Swords. Hmm. The Queen of Swords is a, a divorcee. So, and then we have the Four of Wands here that came out initially. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So maybe this individual is married. Um, maybe the only thing that they can do possibly is get divorced. Get divorced, tell the truth about the situation. Because I feel like they walked away here um, without revealing the truth. Because this is doing something like without integrity. Okay. Getting away with something or trying to get away with something. And you know exactly what you're doing. Okay. Without any forethought. Without any, any, any respect um, for the other person here. So I feel like the only thing they can do is um, come clean, get a divorce. And um, basically that's it. Okay. So let's see what the potential outcome is for my Libras. Libras. Yeah, you guys are just moving forward, but I tell you what, you know, I think that, um, you know, this was a karmic cycle with this person. And this was, this was like a lesson that um, you guys needed to learn. Okay. And I feel like, you know, whatever you put into this will is, you know, what you'll get out of it. You reap what you sow here with the Will of Fortune. And I feel like um, both of you guys, um, there, there was something that you guys were brought together to learn. And I feel like... You know, it's up to you to balance the scales of karma, to do what you feel is right in this situation. We see this individual down here did not do 
what was right here with the seven of swords so you know this wheel is spinning for the both of you um and i feel like you know my libras whatever you guys um have done in this situation if you feel like you've done the right thing um, whatever you've put into it uh, i feel like my friends you know you're going to be rewarded for that okay so my libras that is what i have for you guys and i will be speaking with you soon